When selecting rigging points from above the work to be done, we do have some choices. We may choose to do natural crotch rigging, or we may choose to set a, a false crotch in the tree. With natural crotch rigging, as I've done here, where I've run the lowering line right through the crotch, it may be nice because I have less equipment needed in the job. But some other things I've got to consider are that there may be more, there's going to be more friction in the system generally, which is going to mean more abrasion to the lowering line and possibly to the tree itself if I were going to be removing limbs in a live tree. Now, though generally one of the nice things about natural crotch rigging is because I'm using less equipment, it may be a little bit quicker. Other things to consider in natural crotch rigging are the choices in ropes we're going to use. Here I'm using a 12 strand. A three strand might also work better. Generally, uh, ropes with larger strands uh, are better, have more resistance to abrasion. Now, abrasion obviously is a byproduct of friction, and friction is something that's very important when we're selecting lowering lines. And different ropes have different frictional properties. So, uh, as you can see here, I've, I've run the, the line through the natural crotch, but maybe I might also want to think about a, use heading a false crotch, and that's what Ken has done over here. Yeah, here where I've set a block for rigging, I've actually used a 10x sling and tied a cow hitch with a better half and then just tucked the tail back to get it out of the way. I'll have a lot less friction, which could give me a lot more control, for example, lifting limbs or tensioning the line. I've chosen a double braid here, it's lower stretch. It wouldn't be a good choice, though, for natural crotch rigging because it would have less abrasion resistance qualities and it would really would be detrimental to the rope in numerous ways, as we've discussed previously. I do have multiple choices, actually many choices, as to where I set this block. As long as I've chosen a spar limb or the trunk of the tree to set it so that it will support the work that I'm to do. And I can move this around. I, if, I, if I think about where I'm going to be placing the block when I'm determining what limbs are going to be removed, I could take multiple limbs from one good spot where I don't actually have a crotch or a natural crotch. That's right, and that's really one of the limitations, isn't it, Ken, about natural crotch rigging. You, you kind of have to use what the tree gives you. That's right. The tree sort of dictates to you a little more, at least a little more, as to how you take that tree apart. Right.